Welcome to another episode of Stuff I Make with Grand Inquisitor Chris. Um, today we're going to go ahead and discuss a tool that someone came up with that I think is really important. Um, I want to say first of all, I want to beg you to share this video. And I, I seriously mean beg, because I think this could seriously help other people that have some physical issues similar to some of mine. Um, without getting in too much into my own situation, I have a lot of physical problems that I've been dealing with for about six years that have just been getting worse and worse. Um, the ones that are relevant to today uh, is that I have pulled nerves in both hands. I think the term is nerveaplexia, but they told me the, the uh, easiest way to describe it was that I had pulled nerves. They had to heal on their own and scar over and well, I've gotten the grip strength back when my hands are working. The problem is that when I grab something wrong, or if I grab something that's too heavy in the wrong way, that it can make the nerves incredibly painful that uh, were pulled. And it makes my entire hand sore and tender for about a week or so while it's calming down. I have carpal tunnel in both hands to the point where in a matter of minutes, my hands will start to get pins and needles um, and they will lock up. So if I'm holding on to something, I may have to actually pry my hand open or pry the item out of my hand because I can't get the hand to let go of it. I also have two herniated discs in my neck that control the, or that are where the nerves that come out to control my hands and arms are. And the herniated discs cause a lot of shaking and a lot of problems with fine uh, motor control as far as doing any detail work or anything. It makes this job, or not, not job, but this hobby incredibly difficult. Gaming has always been an important part of my life since I was a kid because like a lot of people we had crappy childhoods and gaming was something fun to do and it gave me an outlet for my energy and creativity and it gave me something to concentrate on other than bouncing a wrench off someone's head. So gaming has always been important and for the last six years it's been incredibly difficult for me to do anything because of the issues that I have. Um, like I said, I'm just talking about the issues today that relate to this particular thing. So for me to paint figures or to work on any of the like fine detail sculpting or anything to to match pieces together is a major work. Um, I, I also, when I'm doing something, if I'm if I tilt my head down too much, I start getting migraines from the discs because it misaligns my neck so bad. Um, so it could it might just be a, a severe headache, but it could be a migraine, depending on how long and how much uh, how how far down I'm I'm looking. Um, I know that these things, these little painter handles, became all the rage like three years ago or so when I saw the first ones on Kickstarter and I've seen the fancy ones that have the little wire that goes up over the top but the problem is that you're still having to hold them which when your hands shake as bad as mine it doesn't really help. Um, putting it down on the table and trying to use that to steady it means that I'm staring down at it which puts pressure on my neck. Um, again, like I said, holding it my carpal tunnel is going to start to affect it as well so that my hands are going to start getting sore uh, and tingly and they may lock up. So about six or seven months ago, and this is the big uh, thing that I want to talk about. Six or seven months ago I saw this in a uh, Facebook page about Doctor Who miniatures where someone was talking about their eyesight and how they, they wanted something that could get the miniature closer to them so that they could see it. Um, so what they did is they bought one of these Citadel painter uh, handles and they unscrewed the bottom, the handle. They bought a cheap small tripod. Screw it onto the top of it. Now you're not going to crank it down. The screw is longer than the hole is deep so you can still turn it. Now, you have to look for a tripod that's going to be the right size for your arms. This one... 
I can go ahead and put both uh, hands here or pull this one down a little bit and this lets me turn it. I can put my fingers under it to steady it. And it lets me use, uh, basically rest my palm on this to do the painting. For me, this is a game changer. This also means that the miniature is at my head height, so I'm not having to look down at it, and I'm not going to end up with a migraine if it's something that I have to do a lot of work on. Um, I'm not going to get back to doing army painting the way I used to, where I could knock out 40 or 50 figures in a night of just going back and forth, um, batch painting them, but maybe I can do a squad in a week or so. Um, this is going to be a huge game changer for me because it means that instead of having bucket after bucket of all these figures sitting on my uh, desk waiting to get uh, painted and waiting to get uh, worked on, I can actually start working on some of them. So I'm begging you guys to uh, share this because, like I said, for me this is a game changer and I know that I'm not the only person that has problems with my hands. Maybe someone in one of your groups has Parkinson's, or they have herniated discs, or they have real bad carpal tunnel, or they have bad eyesight, or they have some problem with their, their neck that they can't look down, or arthritis, any number of reasons. This is a simple solution. Um, if you're wanting to do it yourself, the things that I had to look at when I uh, bought this, took me a while to get around to it because I had so many other things to do, that's why it's taking me long to get this. I'm sorry. Um, I, I went ahead and when you look at on eBay for the tripods, there's tons of them and they're all different types and they're all different sizes. So you need to look at how tall they are because they're going to give you a couple of measurements. You want the measurement, they're going to give you a measurement for this the way it is with the legs fully in, uh, or the, the legs uh, not at all extended. Then they're going to give you other measurements for when the legs extend. So you want the measurement for when the legs are not extended and realize that you can go up and down from there. Now for me, this one is the perfect height for me to use with the legs not extended. Um, the, the issue that I have with this is that if I have to extend the legs, these legs are telescopic. They're kind of like a TV antenna. They're not the most sturdy. So if I needed to extend the legs, this one wouldn't really work for me. Now I'm using a Sunpak 4200 XL. I think I paid seven bucks for this. Um, you just need to look on eBay. Don't just look at the first page. There's like dozens of pages of tripods because there's so many people selling them. You're gonna want to look for the the best price because I've seen these things for this one was like seven bucks plus. I think I maybe paid for three or four bucks in shipping. But then there were some that were going for like 15 and 20 bucks because eBay is just that way. You're going to have some people that are selling them for cheap, some people that are selling them for reasonable, and some people that just think they're made out of gold. Um, there's another one that I'm looking at that uh, is like a full heavy duty conventional tripod except it's a much smaller size. Um, if you need something that, if, the, if, the, if you're getting one that's kind of flimsy like these, and it's not going to be tall enough, you want to look at the ones that have the adjustment here that allows you to basically uh, turn the crank to raise or lower this. Um, one of the ones I'm looking at right now has that, but that one's like 40 bucks. Uh, I am looking at though because I want to get the larger one of these figure holders and be able to do heavier figures, but I'm like I said, I'm begging you guys to share this because I want to give as much help as I can to other people that are just getting frustrated because they can't do things. And maybe give them back a little bit of their, their gaming life and gaming ability. Um, that's all for now, guys. I guess I'll catch up with you in a bit. I should be posting some uh, simple or simpler fast videos in the next week or two for the other projects that I need to get finished up and then I'll be posting some other simple fast 
fun projects for things that you can do. Uh, I'm hoping to limit those videos down to less than 10 minutes for the entire projects. Talk to you guys later. Bye.